In this tutorial we're going to be taking a look at how we can customize the, the materials on the helmet from this soldier which is from the infiltrator demo. So one example that we're going to be taking a look at is customizing the colors of the lights and another is what we can do with the visor. So let's just begin by selecting the mesh and then let's just open it up and you can see you've got access to all the material slots here and there's quite a few and you can narrow down which one you're looking at and focusing on by just clicking the highlight button just here and you can see like that goes orange so let's take a look at the lights first and that is on the helmet material which is element 11 so let's just crack that open and we're going to be taking a look at the emissive color because that's where the lights are applied and just to put it keep it simple really we're not going to be looking at all this stuff we're just going to be looking at these two nodes here and that is uh, these are what are determining the colors so what I'm going to do is just bring up this one and right click on it and convert it to a parameter and call it color 1 and then I'm going to right click on this one and call it color 2 after converting it to a parameter and then we'll hit apply and then come back into the world okay so because we've exposed color 1 and color 2 here we can double click on them to bring up the color wheel and let's just change this to a red kind of color and you can see after I've hit OK the centerpiece there has changed to red but the, the side lights are still the same there's a bit of red around the rim of it so color 2 is going to clear up the rest of the colors so let's just do that and change it to a green so we can see what's happening and yeah you can see that's how we customize the, the lights on the helmet and you should be able to see the update in real time as well which is good okay so back in the skeletal mesh window we can take a look at customizing the visor just here which is element free and we can highlight that again just to make sure one cool thing we can do is just to drop down the material asset and just remember that it's called helmet mask and uh, we can just type in invisible and use that and it kind of looks a bit funky here but if we just come back to the world it kind of gives a nice cool effect of like a clear kind of visor there so that's one option another option is just to completely change the color of it so remember it's called helmet masks so let's just type in mask and just select that material asset just to come back to it and let's double click on this and open it up so there's quite a few um, things applied to this like scratches and all that so we don't really want to lose any of that information so I'm just going to bring this out a bit and I'm just going to hold down left alt and break the link on the base color I'm going to hold down A and left click to get a add and then connect the multiply to the A input on the add and then I'm just going to hold down V to get a vector parameter and I'm just going to call this uh, visor color I'm going to connect that up to the B input, I'm going to make sure that's set to a white material and connect it up to the base color and hit apply and wait for the shaders to compile and jump back into the world. Okay and now we have a white visor and if we double click on the node here we can then change the uh, the color of it and just hit OK here and you can see that's updating real time so one thing this could be used for is for example you've set up two teams and you've got like a blue team so one could have a blue visor blue lights and then you can have team two with a uh, red visor and red lights okay so that's one way that we can just uh, tweak the materials on this soldier character i hope this tutorial helps and thanks for checking it out